St. Mark's High School tonight. First round action in the IAA girls basketball tournament. Mike Lang along with Jason Winchell. Craig Laskowski on camera. Pops Halliday here taking care of uh, all the little things we need done. And uh, Jay, it's always an adventure. But here we are ready for some basketball. St. Mark's in the white. Dover and blue. Bar uh, Spartans come in at 13 and 7. Dover playing in that tough Henlopen North. They are 9 and 11, but they earned the 19th seed. And we are underway. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Spartans basketball as we get started. Craig on the camera. Yeah, that angle's working out pretty good, Jay. Yeah. We're, we're a little worried about our technology here tonight, but to you know, it, have to make it work. It's always an adventure. This is Haley Short gives it up to Sophia Karch, and that's Ava Fernoffel over to Lauren McDonald. The other starter is Sophia Buffon, number ten. And if that name sounds familiar, it's because there's Buffons everywhere. And her brother is Brandon Buffon. Dad is Brandon Buffon of uh, Slazianum Finals fame from back in the 90s. Jay was uh, in school then at Sally's. Over to Sophia Buffon. She's just a freshman. Spartans, Jay, don't score a ton, but they play great defense. And they are very deliberate here as we start out 40 seconds in to this opening quarter. Lauren McDonald takes the runner from 14, bounces high and out, and rebounded there by number five for Dover. And that is Myla Milstead. Senators in the blue, little red trim, looks good. And they're looking to uh, pull off what would be a mild upset as far as records go. Dover's nine to 11, Mike, but they're you know, they're a, high, a pretty decent seed for a losing record. Yeah, that's going to be a foul on Lauren McDonald, her first team first here at St. Mars. Thanks to Matt Smith, Brian Rad Radishevitz, and all the people here at St. Mars for hooking us up. We'll have some more playoff action for you. There's a pass into number 30. That's Sarah Ziona Benson blocked. And Barton's run, run it down. Karch loses her footing a little bit. They whip around the corner. Buffon for three. It's up off the rim. Rebounded by Benson. And she gets it over to Ashton Torbert. And away go the Senators. I have seen Tickmarks many times this year. My first chance to see Dover. Hey, Mark plays that aggressive deep that Mike. Dover was in Newcastle County this year to play Caravelle. The shot's up, no good. Rebound by Benson. She's got it. Easy two. Senators on top, two nothing. Long pass to McDonald. She drives baseline. Short one doesn't go. Rebounded by Dover. Dover came up, played Caravelle. And that was their lone trip to Newcastle County this year. So we didn't have much of an opportunity to, to go see them. I was in unreliable transportation at that time, Jay, so it was tough for me to get out to see these teams. Very good schedule, Mike, to play Cape twice, Polytech twice, Caravelle, like you said, Smyrna twice. So as people look at that 9-11 record and go, why are they the 19th seed? That's why. The, the point system and, and their schedule was strong. Pass out stolen by Buffon. She's looking to get started, but Dover's got a couple people back. Oh, took a little skid there, but she kept that pivot foot down. Karch drives in, puts it off the glass. St. Mars can't get the shot to fall, but Karch gets it back. Haley short and a long two. No good rebound over Buffon's head and picked up there by uh, number five, Milstead. Hey, Dover, the Spartans are a young team. And the shots aren't, aren't falling so far early in this one. But it is three minutes in with two nothing. Jay, we didn't expect a super duper scoring game no, here today. No, both teams are very good defensively. A steal by Karch. As, as you can see. She's got Frenopoul up ahead. She's bumped and that's gonna be a foul on Dover. Ava Frenopoul, you mentioned youth, is just a sophomore. Sophia Karch, also a sophomore. The only senior on this, there's a couple seniors, a lot of, Katie Lennon and Jill Cantagallo, uh, neither of whom is in the starting lineup. They do play. As Coach Field likes to use a lot of his lineup. And the Spartans going to get on the board here. 
three and a half minutes in. The phone gets in there, loses her footing and travels. Mentioned St. Mark's coached by Jim Friel. St. Mark's bringing the pressure, Mike, on a little press. Dover coached by Jahi Davenport, who's right here to our left. And there's the press you mentioned. It's gonna be uh, close to 10 seconds. Yeah. They, and they two. passed it backwards. That, that's uh, Billy Harper gets it over the timeline. Just, I think, with like a half a second to spare. Inside to Benson, she's double teamed for an awful with the block. That ball's out of bounds off of Dover. And it'll be St. Mark's basketball. 4-11 to go here in the first. Saw the Dover boys last night. We didn't see them, but they played Archer last night. And Archer really slowed that game down. St. Mark's doing the same thing here. But this has been the St. Mark's style all season. Without that big score. Short. Passes it down low to Karch, and she's going to get called for the travel. Checking in is Chelsea Woolleyhan for the Senators. St. Mark's. Another steal. He's playing some good defense, Jay. Just can't get the offense clicking yet. Speaking of clicking, you're going to hear some camera. Short takes it and passes it to McDonald. Gets it right back into the corner to our left. And that's going to be a timeout for Coach Creel. 3.36 to go. 2 nothing. And uh, Jay, eight games on the schedule tonight. We'll try to keep you updated on as many of those as possible. Of course, we need people to be... I think everybody's here. Scores. <laughs> yeah, everybody seems to be here. We have several media outlets on hand. So we were at Caravelle last night for the boys with uh, Cape Hemlope. And boy, what a great job by the Buccaneers last night, Jay. And they, they look pretty tough going into Sanford tomorrow night. Yeah, you know, there's a team that really changed the fortunes kind of change that second quarter when they forced a lot of Kate Turner. And so, you know, it's playoff basketball, Mike, you got to take care of the basketball uh, as, you know, defenses are wrenched up a little bit. All right, so we have a couple of media members out at Charter DMA tonight, but we're going to rely on our fans here to get a score from elsewhere. All righty, Spartans setting it up. They trail just 2 nothing here. We're more than halfway through quarter number one. Buffone loses the handle, gets it back. It's out of bounds. It's going to go to the Senators. Like you said, Mike, St. Uh, St. Mark's a young team. A lot of them first tournament games. You know, so it, they're just setting in a little bit. Like you said, the good thing is their defense has been good where they're only find themselves trailing by two. Down and out! Down and out! Short. Is really hounding Torbert. Nearly gets a steal. Torbert, nice move to get around her. Gives it to Benson. Benson pushes her way in. Shot is up and short. But she's going to the free throw line for two. Foul's going to be an Ava Fernopel. Her first. Team third. The three fouls for the Spartans already, Mark. First free throw is up and good. Benson with all three points so far. Not hard to keep track of the scoring just yet, Jay. And she goes two for two for the line to make it 4-0. Short rushes it up. Haley Short trying to push off soccer practice as long as possible here. Those defending state champion Spartans, and then we have a whistle. I think they're going to get an offensive foul, foul on probably the phone here. No, I think it's on the screen. That's on 32. It's for an yep. awful, her yep. second. Legal screen. Team four, she's going to check out. We have three wholesale changes here. It's going to be Leah DePaul, Kira Benoit, or Benoit rather, and Ray Johnson checking in for the Spartans. Number four, Lily Harper back in for Dover, replacing Chelsea Woolleyhan. So uh, Coach Field looking for some kind of combination that works. He does leave. 
Phenopoulin yeah. with the two fouls. Pass up ahead and out of bounds. Harper can't reel it in. I thought she came out. Not, it is Lily Harper. She just came back in for Wooly Hand. Lily, uh, Leah DePaul, sorry, brings that up. Lily Harper, I just got my names mixed up. She tries to get it to McDonald. Danny McDonald to get on track. She's a big piece of their offense. Ray Johnson inside. She scores. That was great offense. A set there by St. Mark's. My great pass. They're on the board. Took them five and a half minutes to get on board. Jay, a couple of Spartan students in attendance here tonight. A steal by Benoit. And now we have a lot of wrestling going on there. I think it's going to be a foul on Dover, I believe. Yeah. I think the player from Dover fell on top of the Spartan. And that is going to be the second foul on, I believe, Ashton Torper. It's not up on the board yet. Wilhand checks back in. It is Torper as she comes over and checks out. Spartans with a chance to tie or take the lead here with 2.21 to go here in quarter number one. Shots up from the corner, swish. Sophia Buffon for three. And we know she can do that. And there's a steal. There's a steal and a bucket. McDonald. For Lauren McDonald. Jay, they needed something to get started there. And then maybe the Buffon three really yeah. is the kickstart they need. And we know she can shoot the three pointer and it's right on the inbound. You know, with Colbert out with the two fouls, Mike. Uh, St. Mark gets the steal and Donald lays it in and maybe that will get her going too. So timeout for Dover here with 2.06 to go. Seven straight and in quick fashion here for St. Mark's. They did not score their first point until 2.35 remained in the quarter. So in the last 29 seconds, seven and points for St. Mark's. 7-0 run too. And they're going to have to play defense on Benson. They do have Johnson, gives him a little bit of height underneath with Frenopel. And Bella Prado back from an ankle injury. We'll see how much Bella can play. Bella's yeah. sister playing tonight, of course, over at DMA. Tavi Prado is playing against Charter School Wilmington. Good luck to all the teams in the tournament as we get started in uh, one of our favorite times of the high school season. Poked away by DePaul. It's going to go out of bounds and stay with the Senators. Of course, we will get you our upcoming schedule as we go along. We are totally invested in this game right now, though. Kira Benoit is on Harper. This Barton's playing a little man. Benoit goes down, but Ray Johnson's there for the near steal. Benson takes it, a double dribble call, and back to St. Mark's it goes. You see a this St. Mark's student section over there. Well, I see one student, Jay, looks like he'd be about my age, so he's obviously not a student. Yeah, there's a couple over there. Yeah, they would be the 25-year-old students. I'm 25 at heart. McDonald's got it up top, and uh, Coach Fields' favorite word, patience. They got a little uh, antsy there. Yeah. DePaul playing some great defense. And she's called for the foul. Yeah. Coach Field does not agree with that call. Yeah, got her, got her completely on the arm. That's team foul number five on the Spartans. Jim Friel, I don't know what year he's in here, fourth or fifth. He's done a great job he here. He really has. You know. St. Mark's has really brought them back to respectability. And they went through a roller coaster move, there of coaches move, for a while move. after the retirement of John move, Fiorelli. Move. Speaking of good coaches, John Fiorelli. Milstead falls down, somehow keeps the ball into the corner to Benson, it goes. There's two Milsteads, Milia and Mila. Jay, so what are the chances of me messing them up? I'd say 110%. Mike, that, I believe that's a 16 foul. Another foul on the Spartans. They're playing aggressive and they're getting the fouls to prove it. Fouls on Sophia Buffon. Her first. Yes! Underneath to yes! Benson, I believe. You can't see. Gets her own rebound. Now she gets somebody got the rebound. Five. That's the bucket for Mil Milo Milstead. Seven to six as we enter the last minute here. Benoit brings it up with short on the bench. Gets it over to McDonald. She's gonna drive down the middle. Has her pocket pick, but gets right back. Finds Sophia Buffon. She's hammered by Benson. And she's going to take two shots. Yeah. 
So before it's going <laughs> Coach is uh, lobbying for a traveling call there, Jay. First shot is up and around the rim and out. It's a good conversation now, you know, back and forth. She hits the second, eight to six Spartans with 45 seconds to go. A little pressure here for St. Mark's. That's four now for Buffon. And uh, Harper has trouble with it. Picks it up, gets over in time. And now McDonald switches off, but back to Benoit goes to St. Mark's. Harper takes it right down the middle, throws up a runner offside of the rim, taken there by DePaul, but off of her and out of bounds. 24.8 to go here Dover. in the first. When they are getting shots off, Mike, they're doing a good job in the offensive glass. St. Mark's got to find a way to box out. Into Benson, but she doesn't put it up, kicks it back out to Harper. There's uh, Chelsea Woolleyhand. As Dover looks to run the clock here, so I just whack the microphone. I'm used to it on my left side, it's on the right. There's a 16 footer and a good Benson with the rebound, and she it's foul. That's going to be a one on one. Yeah, I think before, Ray Johnson with the foul. Before the shot. Foul's on number two, Kira Benoit. So, seven team fouls for St. Mark's here in the first. They're going to be in a penalty for the rest of the first half. We said to Mike, they're a very aggressive defensive team. Sometimes when you're aggressive, you're going to get called for, for fouls. But Brill will take that because they're getting the turnovers, they're getting the steals. Looks like the lacrosse team is here, Jay, St. Mark's. They had practice earlier. They were practicing when I got here, just wrapping up. So she misses the one and one. The phone puts up a long three. Got it, Sophia Buffone at the buzzer. Count it, top play candidate for Buffone. What a shot there, Mike, at the buzzer. She gave the pump fake and then the shot and buries it. Give us a good chance to go take a commercial break. At the end of one, 11 6 Spartans, you're watching the AA playoffs here on 302 Sports. Welcome to Premier Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. We're a locally owned outpatient physical therapy practice with convenient locations in all three counties in Delaware. At Premier, we have experienced physical therapists with advanced credentials, but their hospitality, passion, and enthusiasm is what makes the difference for you. Find our convenient locations at PremierPTSB.com. You may have tried physical therapy, but have you tried Premier? Welcome to Premier Physical Therapy. All right, we're back at St. Mark's. Mike Lang, Jason Mitchell pops out a Craig Laskowski. And a nice shot there by Buffone at the end. St. Mark's takes the 11 to six lead on the buzzer beater. And uh, hey, they're always fun to watch. So the Spartans are gonna be looking to uh, keep the mo going. Jay, they were down four nothing. You've outscored Dover since 11 to two. And uh, looks good. Everything's looking good, Craig. We're looking good. Sometimes a little tricky around here, you know what I'm saying? For these. Uh, technology, Jay. It's all about technology. So we had Dover only four players on the court. They're trying to get her They're in. They're trying to sub a player in with they eight won, minutes. They want Ladno. They're going to put Benson in instead. Number 10, Caitlin Hill is waiting to get in, and Jay, that's gonna give Dover a little bit of height. Bella Prado in, she gets a steal immediately. Prado has not played the last several games because of an ankle injury. Twice this year she missed time with a sprained ankle. You know, you had that Sophia Buffon with two three. A long, dangerous pass there. Yeah. And the free throw, so like you said, a good opening quarter for the freshman. Seven points for Sophia Buffon, four points for Sarah Ziona Benson who's right here next to us uh, for Dover. She's there leading scorer. Long pass, it was dangerous, but knocked out of bounds by the Senators, and they will get it inside. Here is Haley Short. Into the corner, swatted away by Torbert, and she's taking it the other way, one on two. Down the middle, she throws it off the glass, no good. Gets her own rebound off of Bella Prado and out of bounds. It's gonna stay with 
tipped over. So the center's inbounding under their hoop. 3-4, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna, they got it into Malia Milstead. And Torbert is fouled by Karch, had aggressive defense, gonna cost him here in free throws. That's two on Karch. It's gonna send Torbert to the line for the one and one. 7.25 to go here in quarter number two. Can't get it to go, rebound is up and no good. Out of bounds off St. Mark's. It'll stay with the Senators. Nope, Jay, I was wrong. Must have been my angle. So it's Kira Benoit, Park. Sophia Karch, Haley Short, Bella Prado, and Sophia Buffon. So a little bit of a smaller lineup here for St. Mark's. has two, right? Yes, she does. Okay. They get it out to short. A little dangerous play out there. Buffon's got it. Inside, Benoit had it and lost it. And that goes to Harper. She's on the run. Kind of one on three though, Jay. No, uh, she waits for her reinforcements. Benson just took a brief break. She's right in front of us waiting to get back in. A little aggressive there by uh, Cart with the hand check, no call. Shot no good, rebound picked up by Buffon. Timeout. St. Mark's, it's going to be a full timeout, I believe. So it's a 60 second timeout. Jay, so what are we seeing? We're seeing St. Mark's getting hot after a slow start, and uh, Dover shots just uh, haven't been falling yet. At the end of a quarter, it's Wilmington Charter 7, DMA no score. So the force off to a good start on the road, thanks to Chris Stevens for that. Any more updates, we'd appreciate them. If you wanna get us some scores, we would love to pass them along. Alrighty, 6.34 to go here in the second. Thanks for tuning in on, uh, what is tonight? On a Wednesday night. Coach Davenport, two feet. You know, Nick Allison Jr. would know what sneakers he's wearing. I don't, but they're pretty nice looking shoes. They look good. Yeah, I got the New Balance dad shoes on, baby. They fit my feet right. That's the most important thing. Karch drives, looks for the shot, then passes to Prado. Loose ball, picked up by Short to Prado, out to Buffon, and they're gonna set it up again. Lucky to have the ball here, St. Marks. All over is Harper. Runner for Short. It's off the side of the rim, out of bounds it goes. Dover basketball. St. Mark's in a little bit of a full court press here. And Benson's got it. St. Mark's gonna try to drop him back now, maybe just on the inbound. Dover scored the first four, Mike, like you said, 11 2 Benz, nothing in this quarter yet, Braden Key. Screen from Benson, but Senders can't get an open shot out of it. Oh, Harper loses the handle, Short's right there. She's up ahead of the pack, takes it down the side. And now she's gonna pull it back out and wait for her help. Smart play, smart play. Gets it over Benoit into Prado. Can she get it up? She does. Bella Prado with the bucket and the foul. Great job by the Spartans. Get the ball inside. The first bucket here in the second quarter. That comes with 5.31 to go here in the second. So Prado, we mentioned, has been uh, Fighting injuries this year. Two, uh, two sprained ankles. Now Lauren McDonald's back in. 
Yeah, that's a good job by St. Mars to get McDonald some rest there and not lose anything on the lead. They increase the lead. Laura McDonald, probably the best scorer on the team despite the seven points tonight for Buffon. Prado free throws is good. And it makes it 14 to six, so three points for Prado. And they have an eight point lead here, five and a half to go until halftime. Inside, stolen by Prado. Gets it to Short. St. Mark's on the run. Short going one on one with Milstead. And now she's gonna slow it down, Jay. I'm saying it's a good move for St. Mark's to set up a shot. Yeah, absolutely. You know it all by her lonesome out there, so there's no five second count. McDonald with it. She's got great range, not maybe not volleyball 10 foot line range, but she's got great range. We saw the phone hit from an NBA range three on her uh, last one at the end of the first quarter. Short took it in, didn't like what she saw, brought it right back out. Going to go to the other side, finds the lane, kicks to Karch. Back to Short, I thought Short had a lane there and chose not to uh, take it in. Back inside the Prado, off the glass and good. Bella Prado. Good to see her back in the lineup, Mike. She's making her case to be the high five hospitality player of the game. Yeah, her, Buffone. And Buffone, they want that interview. Yes. Timeout for Dover here with 4.27 to go. Each team now with three timeouts left, Mike. It's been a pretty quick moving game here. Four twenty-seven to go. But Jay, if they can, I'm looking at any points from Bella Prado as a bonus here for them. She's exactly. playing great defense, number one. She has a couple steals already. She's coming off an injury. Exactly right. And she's giving them points too. That's just a bonus for Coach Friel. He's got scores out there at McDonald and Buffon, and, and to an extent, uh, Karch. So he'll take what he can get from Bella, gives him a little bit inside. Now Ava, no, it's not for now, but that's McDonald's in there. Poked away by Prado. There you go. Hey. Stays with the senders, but quick hands for Bella Prado. Coach Davenport and the senders looking for some answers here. They just have Six points thus far in the half. Out to Woollyhan, nearly loses it, gets it back to Torbert. Torbert looking for somewhere to go. And we have an offensive foul with an illegal screen. It's going to be an illegal screen call on. Yeah, we see one on each team for that illegal screen. You gotta make sure your, your feet are set. And Mila Milstead, Jay, number five. Yeah, they, you can't move when you're doing that karch. It's gonna get called for a travel. She had the lane, just took that little hop step beforehand. Spartans with the press again. Dover's been able to beat it, but it's taking them a while to get down the court. Nearly stolen there by Karch. Milstead has it picked. Karch dishes. Short takes it back out, gives it to Benoit. But no, rather, I'm sorry about that, Kira. Misses from the free throw line, but what a, a some more great defense. St. Marsh said we knew we were going to see good defense from the Spartans. Here's it Benson. It really got their offense going. Long shot, misses everything, kept in bounds. Nice job there by the Senators. I think the foot was on but the I line. I think she was out of bounds. You are correct. Sophia Buffon checks back in. Lily Harper back in for the Senators. So Kira Benoit, a good job. She's going to take a rest along with Chelsea Woollyhan for Dover, who has played more minutes than uh, maybe maybe we expected. Oh, yeah. With some foul trouble for Dover, and they're looking for something. Chelsea Woollyhan has been able to give them some good minutes here today. Nearly lost by the Spartans. It is taken by Milstead, and a traveling violation. Ball's going to go to Dover. I think they called the travel on Milstead. Oh, did he, po he pointed that way, didn't he? he did it's going to be St. Mark's ball. He did point that way. You are correct. I was saying, I don't know if St. Marks had the ball, but. Yeah. 
It is Spartans ball. This will be Buffon to inbound. Gets it into Bella Prado. She's gonna put up the mid-range. Nearly hits it, but it rebounded there by Amalia Milstead. And off to Torbert they go. 3.22 to go, 16-6. Spartans here in the first round. DIAA girls tournament. Boys played last night. Harper may have gotten away with a little bit of a step there. And now we have a five second call. She didn't get away with that one. And it's gonna be Spartans. The ball, they've caused number, a numerous, numerous turnovers here. That's what we expect from St. Mark's. Their defense is so good. Like we said, their offense has been a struggle this year, Mike, but when you play good defense, you win games. And that's why they're the record, that's why they had the 13 wins. They had a couple games against Ursuline and uh, played St. E's. Once I believe that passed off the hands of Prado. Harper's got it the way that she goes. One on two. She's going to take it in, spins, and then kicks it back out to uh, Molly at Milstead. Three pointer for Torbert. Off the side of the rim, rebound Buffon. They split against Padua. Uh, one of those games went triple. The one they won yeah, the game here. overtime. So, I mean, it, they were in, in games because of their defense. Bella Prado doesn't get that one to fall. And a foul on Prado is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, St. Mark's played uh, DMA. DMA. We had the sister against sister that day, Tavi and Bella. That yeah. one went to DMA. In overtime, but it 22 was 22-21. Like, yeah, it was a one-point game. And they beat Wilmington Charter also playing DMA tonight uh, by two or three points. I was at that game. That's where Prado got hurt for the first time. At the line. We haven't forgot about you, Dover. We're going to look at your schedule too. Don't, nine, don't, for, nine, don't you. Nineteen uh, foul on St. Mark's. So Dover will be shooting two free throws the rest of the way. Sarah, Sarah. So Sarah Benson almost took that basketball to the ribs because she was lo looking at coach. First one is up and bounces up and out. Jay, they go for three on the one on ones. Yeah. So short has it, and they're not in any particular hurry. Into the corner to Buffon. She's got room, and she's got three. Third three-pointer for Sophia Buffon. Everything she's touching right now, Mike, is going in. And that's a good thing to see if you're a Spartans fan. Assist to Haley Short, and she finds the wide open Sophia Buffon in the corner. Two minutes to go, 19-6 St. Mark's. They started slow, but they have heated up since. Into the corner. That's off the wing rather to Benson, back out to Torbert. And St. Mark's playing a little man, and that's giving Dover all kinds of trouble. Buffon with the steal. She's got McDonald to her right, back to Buffon off the glass. Got it. That's how you execute a give and go. Great pass by Buffon to McDonald. McDonald back to Buffon. And then Starts that. with the steal, yep. and then a picturesque give and go. Torbert looking for some room somewhere short, seals are off. Bone's not playing like a freshman here today, Mike. Milstead to Milstead. St. Mark's, even though they're in the man, Jay, there's no room in that middle. And there's a whistle. Jay, a hand check called on Lauren McDonald. That's going to be a two-shot foul. When you, when you play aggressive defense, sometimes you get those little, uh, I like to call them nickel divers, Mike, they're fouls. Um, you know, reach in, hand check, and... Uh, now will be two foul shots. At the line, Sarah Benson. That was on. That was McDonald, right? No, it's Frenopel, her third. Her third. This is a two shot foul. They make this one, Jay, their first point of the quarter. See, they like the two shot foul. The two shot variety foul. So that's five points for Benson. And six points for Benson tonight out of the eight for Dover. Short double team, gets it down to McDonald, inside to Ray Johnson. Back to McDonald, she's gonna take a three, and she traveled. Nice design. Well, hop stop. Traveling violation. Well, hop stop. Hop step before she shot. So Dover with a chance to cut into this lead, stolen by McDonald. Nice dish to Buffon off the glass, just can't finish. What a great pass by Lauren McDonald. Sophia was under the basket a little bit, but that was a great pass yeah, and a great steal. Probably one two. Offensive foul called on Torbert. She's been so good, Mike, that's the one she would like to have back, but like you said, more importantly, McDonald 
you know, made the steal and, and a great pass. And Third foul on Torbert, that's six on Dover. Second so time. St. Mark's has not shot a free throw, uh, not in penalty at least. They've made two free throws tonight. The second time, uh, Colbert could call for an offensive foul. So here's short 48 seconds to go. They may try to run this out. That's a long time to hold on to the ball, but it's 21-8, so they may do it. And you have to watch the five seconds if they, if they come out of guard them. Right now, they don't have to worry about it. Jay, what are the chances the referee was standing right in front of us? Very good. McDonald down the lane, off the glass and good. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. Harper, guarded by Benoit. Gets the screen, shots up, off the rim, and Ray Johnson with the rebound. St. Mark's, one more chance here, Jay. A 23 to four run for the Spartans. They're gonna get the buffone. She did it last time, why not this time? Off the rim, rebounded by Dover, but they're not gonna have enough time. And Jay, we're through 16 minutes of basketball. All St. Mark's in that second quarter. They lead 23 to eight. We're headed to halftime. Take a look at our uh, sponsors. We're back with second half action. You're watching 302 Sports. Welcome to Premier Physical Therapy and Sports Performance. We're a locally owned outpatient physical therapy practice with convenient locations in all three counties in Delaware. At Premier, we have experienced physical therapists with advanced credentials, but their hospitality, passion, and enthusiasm is what makes the difference for you. Find our convenient locations at PremierPTSP.com. You may have tried physical therapy, but have you tried Premier? Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Lupo Italian Kitchen in downtown Rehoboth Beach. Come check us out. Located inside the Hotel Rehoboth, Lupo serves coastal Italian cuisine with fresh pasta made in-house daily. Lupo features plenty of unique craft cocktails and an extensive award-winning all-Italian wine list. Popular dishes include lobster bucatini, veal meatballs, grilled swordfish, and eggplant parmesan. Lupo Italian Kitchen on Rehoboth Avenue, serving happy hour daily and dinner seven days a week. See you soon. How you doing? My name's Mike Cassidy. I'm the founder and president of Cassidy Painting. I started back in 1984, incorporated in 1986. I never had the word no in my vocabulary. Uh, when someone called me to do a job, I always said yes. Whether it was a struggle, whether it was seven days a week, uh, sun up to sundown, it, it didn't matter. And with that ph philosophy, we were able to grow to the size we are. We employ close to 80 uh, individuals. We really enjoy being in the family business. Um, I look forward to coming to work every day. And it's so nice to work with the people that we work with in the office. Uh, we've really become a family with them. We really create a family experience around here. The Cassidy Painting is a very diversified company. We don't say no to anything. We deal with everything from epoxy floors to painting buildings to uh, spray foam insulation, spray fireproofing. If it deals with a coating, we can handle it. So when our customers call and they're under the gun and they know the need to get a job done, they know who to call because we perform. We've always been performed. We've never been replaced out of 37 years of business. For any of your painting needs, we can handle it. High school athletics is not what it used to be. The sporting goods industry has been disrupted adding to coach and athletic director daily challenges. BSN Sports stands ready to change the fundamentals of our industry, giving our customers the advantages they need right now.
Your dedicated local sales pro is supported with nationwide team service, including sport and category experts. Get the look of D1 colleges and pro teams with our program that streamlines ordering your staff apparel, player gear, and fan wear. Stretch your budget with our fundraising solution. Free and ready in minutes. Our campus branding products are perfect for boosting school and team pride. BSN Sports has the advantages you need right now. First State Orthopedics statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soil Concepts. Today we're at Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Come check us out. Located in the Rehoboth Gateway next to Blue Coast Rehoboth, Thompson Island will follow the Sodell tradition of serving beautiful simple food that will pair perfectly with our fresh homemade beer. Thompson Island is a perfect place to have dinner with your family, enjoy happy hour with friends at the bar, or spend a day in the beer garden playing bocce ball and ping pong. Thompson Island Brewing Company in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, open seven days a week. See you soon. Your home, your community. It's not just where you live, it's where you belong. At Dover Federal Credit Union, we understand what it means to be local. We started here, and we're not going anywhere. We're as local as it gets, and we like it that way. We're not just a financial institution. We are the local credit union that you can trust. Local people, local decisions. Dover Federal Credit Union. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Solo Concepts. Today we're at Matt's Fish Camp in Fenwick Island, Delaware. Come check us out. Matt's Fish Camp features seafood classics, coastal comfort food, and chef-driven specials that pair perfectly with our large selection of craft ales, curated wine list, and camp cocktails. Matt's offers indoor and outdoor dining and is the perfect place to have dinner with your family, happy hour with friends, or enjoy lunch at the Raw Bar. Matt's Fish Camp in Fenwick Island, Delaware, open seven days a week year-round. See you soon. Wraps, signs, banners, and promotional items that can help your business stand out from the rest. Looking for an excellent way to convey a professional image? Customized promotional products are the perfect way to target new customers, increase employee retention, and boost your brand awareness. Let the professionals at Cassidy Graphics bring your advertising ideas to life. Give them a call today at 302-326-2412. Again, that number is 302 302- 326-2412. Again, Casty Graphics brings your advertising ideas to life. I would always pass by Ferris on Kirkwood Highway, so I knew that they existed. We stopped in the showroom. We just clicked, like from day one. They did a total kitchen renovation for us. Ferris was so organized. They were on top of everything from day one. Always here when they said they would be, always on time, kept to the schedule. The level of comfort speaking to everyone that works at Ferris, they were just super friendly, easy to talk to, it was like they were friends, not, you know, people coming to work on our kitchen. The room is totally transformed from what it used to look like. To have all the seating now and the big table, the bench seats, it's great. I love coming home and just walking through the laundry room into the kitchen every day. It was just a great experience. We loved ours. 
High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Expectation and Five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. The things that matter most happen right in our own backyard. Our neighbors, our schools, the places we go, and the people we know. And now there's one news outlet where our story is told. Delaware Live. Locally owned community based news. Free to every reader because Delaware's future belongs to all of us. Quality journalism we can trust to help us take on the day. Delaware Live. Our state, our news, our home. Get the assurance that your HVAC system is what you need with Ambience. Ambience provides you with over 25 years of experience in the heating, cooling, and plumbing industry. The team at Ambience Heating and Air Conditioning provides high-quality residential HVAC installations, maintenance, and repairs in new and older homes in the Delaware, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Tri-State area. You may not realize it, but half of your energy costs go to heating and cooling. Make sure your energy dollars count and call us today for a free estimate. 302-239-HVAC. 302 302- 2239-4822. Hi, I'm Scott Cameron from Soto Concepts. Today we're at Fish On in the villages of Five Points. Come check us out. Fish On is committed to serving beautiful, simple coastal cuisine in a cool atmosphere with a happening bar, spacious dining room, and outside patio. Popular dishes include the seafood stew and fresh oysters from the raw bar. Fish On's recently renovated event room and is the perfect spot for your next event. Fish On and Lewis in the villages of Five Points open seven days a week. Best happy hour around. See you soon. Welcome to Premier. All right, back. Back at uh, St. Mark's High School. A score update. Jay from the St. East Center. It's early. St. Elizabeth 4, early college 1. That game started late because the early college bus broke down on the way to Wilmington. There's just uh, you know, that's not good. Their first time in a tournament for early college. Yeah, and the bus doesn't break, uh, doesn't make it. Uh, but, you know, they they get to, uh, you know, they're underway. And I know Red Lion St. George is tied. And I believe DMA scored 18 straight the it end of the half. Polytech 24, Howard 23 at the half. DMA 18, Charter 7 at the half. And it was 7-0 Charter at one point at the end of the first quarter. So an 18 nothing second quarter for the Seahawks. In this one, St. Mark's. Has uh, outscored Dover in that second quarter, 12 to two, and they have a 15 point lead. And a 23 to four run to be scored up in Dover. Correct, so Spartans have played, they've played man-sized defense here, woman-sized defense, Jay. That, that's a big foul right there, that's Karch's third. That's Sophia no, Karch. But, Picks up another foul. That's and that's the first in St. Mars. They were in the penalty early in the first half over. It's gonna look to exploit that. Harper in the corner. No shot there with Karch on her. They're probably gonna go right at Sophia. And so they get it out to Torbert with Haley Short guarding her. She gets a screen from Benson. Puts up the three. No good, rebound is up. Benson grabs it. Blocked by Johnson, but they're going to get a foul on. I think it was the reach in. By, I don't think it was Johnson. No, it was the reach in before uh, by on Haley the floor. Short. Yeah. So that's two fouls already. And that is correct. Ha Haley was going to try and force the jump ball and got her arm. That's going to be two shots here for Benson. It was a, a block there by Johnson, but the foul committed uh, by Haley Short. The Dover hasn't had a field goal. It's the first quarter, Mike, because both their points were from the foul line for Benson. And now another one. So that is seven points for Benson, eight points for Benson, two points for Mala Milstead. And Dover trails by 13. They're putting the press on. They're looking for an offensive foul on McDonald. Don't get it. It was right in front of us. 
into the corner. They go to Buffon. She's going to be called for the traveling several times. We've seen that tonight for St. Mark's with that first step. Yeah, yep. It's, it's not just Buffon. It's been uh, McDonald and a couple other players, like you said. They get it up to Benson. They're across midcourt. She's looking for some help. And she was all by her lonesome out there for a while. Gets it over to Ashton Torbert. Dover just needs the ball to go, a field goal to go in so they can get some confidence going. Short works around the screen. Another foul on Haley Short. Her second of the quarter, three already, 65 seconds in. We'll see how many it is on Haley. No, that's two in a row. That's her second, team third. So the foul's piling up again for St. Mark's. This time Benson's got it, gets it to Harper. And the one thing about St. Mark's, Mike, very deep team, but still you fouls we have to keep an eye on. Torbert in the corner, brings it out to the wing, puts up a shot, and she's got it for two for Torbert. First field goal from Dover since the first quarter, Mike, but it's four straight to start the quarter. They trail now 23 to 12. They've cut four points off the lead. McDonald from the corner, off the rim, rebounded by Malia Milstead. Dover with a chance to cut two more. Coach Davenport in front of us, shouting out instructions. Torbert to Malia Milstead. Back to Torbert, she's gonna set it up. Six minutes to go here in quarter number three. First round, DIAA playoff action. Benson from 17, off the backboard. Rebounded by McDonald, her pass to Benoit, inter oh, nearly intercepted. I hope they get to but try the foul there is uh, on number four, Lily they, Harper. I hope they try and get this net fixed. It's a dead ball now. This would be a perfect time, be to, get time to do it. And then yeah, Haley Short saying, hey, what about my yeah, net? Yeah, I mean. Although Dover's shooting in that yeah, net, aren't they? Yeah. I don't Haley know. May just said, just leave it go. <laughs> it is St. Mark's basketball fouls on Harper, her first, team first. Dover in the press. Barton's looking to break. Short, she's got a wall of blue in front of her, cross court to McDonald. McDonald sees the lane, off the, well, it was blocked by Benson. Poked away by Benoit. Back out to Buffon for three. She's got it again. She's really making a uh, statement here, Mike, for the high five Hoffman Valley player of the game. See it, four three-pointers here in this game. Good job there. McDonald blocked, but they get the steal and turn it into an opportunity. Milo Milstead fouled by Kira Benoit, she'll get two free throws. Again, another offensive rebound for Dover. So when Dover is getting shots off, they're grabbing the offensive rebound. So to the line, it'll be that number five, right? Milo yep. Milstead. Yep. And like you said, Mike, 14 fouls now for St. Mark. We're not even three minutes in. Yeah, remember they had seven in the first quarter. First one is up. And it's just as soft as cotton. You know, Dover was like anything back. It was those three one and ones in the second quarter that they missed. You know, you make a couple of them, and you're right in this game. That's going to be out of bounds. One for two. Milstead has three points. 25 13. Jay, uh, we've seen that with this basketball. It bounces pretty high, and that one goes up to yep. the top of the backboard. The Wilson Evo NXT. NXT stands for extra bounce. Up ahead to Buffon over her head. Can she get to it? Saves it in. Ray Johnson trying to get there. We have a wrestling match going on. Jump ball. It's going to be St. Mark's basketball. Good hustle there by yep. Sarah Benson. Good hustle by Buffon to save it in, but I was Sarah that. Benson got to it. Yep. Tied up by Ray Johnson. Ray had some uh, good, good play there in the first half. She's back in now, here short on the right wing. Up top to McDonald, they whip it around. Kira Benoit finds some room, goes in. Johnson there for the rebound, up, too hard. Loose ball taken by Dover, poked away by Benoit. She's been everywhere, she's a pest. Stolen by Buffon, and she's tripped, and that's gonna be a foul, I believe, on Mila Milstead. So some good hustle there by the Spartans. It is on Milstead. Yeah, three different people had uh, ear steals, and then Buffon gets it. Second foul on Milstead. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of hustle out there by both teams today. Johnson out, and nearly stolen by Harper. 
And Coach Friel, always teaching, always teaching. That's pass can be intercepted by Harper, and she travels with it. And Coach disagrees. I think we're going to. I thought we might get a technical, Jay, but we did not. Good steal there by Harper. And now we're going to have. Uh, I think we may have some blood on the floor or sweat. Full yeah, sweat. They just sent the trainer out there to. Kylie's getting a standing O. So the Spartans with the ball and the 13-point lead, 4.45 to go. Good point out that the winner of this gets Kate Penlope at Suffolk Tech on Friday. That's no pick, picnic. Kate Penlope, 19 straight wins if you count the Henlope game. So McDonald a little too strong on that one. I know it doesn't count on their record, but it is a win. And not, so I'm counting well, the Henlope and Conference champion means a lot to those teams, yeah. and it should. Yep. Yep. They beat Woodbridge by a single digit. We had the Blue Hen Championships here on Saturday. Torber for three. Bounces off the front of the rim, taken by Short on the rebound. She gets around Maya Milstead. Down in the corner, McDonald's got time and room. Can't get it to go. Maya Milstead with the rebound, and Dover's going to bring it back up. So Jay, a little early burst there for the Senators. And they cut it to 11 at one point. And then Buffone hit that a couple Steal by McDonald, three. yeah. No foul! No foul! That rebound for Harper. Splits the D on the way up. Two on three, two on four. She's going to wait for some help. And we have a foul on St. Mars. And Jay, that's foul number five on the Spartans already. I think they call that on short. Prado and... Katie Lennon checking in for St. Mark's. As the PA announcer Brian Radicevich waiting for the foul. It is on short, her third. She stays in. Harper thought about the three. Now she's going to look to pass. St. Mark's in that man. They've been in the man most of the night. It's been pretty effective for them. But Prado, Prado back in. She's got the big assignment. She's got Sarah Benson. Nice poke there by short, but um, Milstead gets it back and Dover's going to set it up. Inside they go to Benson. She turns around on Prado, but Bella Prado steals her away from that. Ram Torber gets a screen. Shot up, no good. Rebound, Kira Benoit. Good box out. By yeah, she her. had a great position, didn't she? Three minutes to go here in the third quarter. Underneath. Lennon, to Benoit, it almost goes in. Benoit's going to get two free throws. Nice dish there from Katie Lennon. Yeah. And she just got into the game. Malaya Milstead with the foul there. It's going to be a two-shot foul for Kira Benoit. She makes the first, her first point of the game. Leading scorer today is Sophia Buffon, and she's been dialing long distance. So Short comes out, she's going to get a break lead. The Paul is in. You want to pick up that fourth foul. So this is going to yep. be here by Coach Friel. One for two from the line. Ball's off of Katie Lennon. It's going to go to Dover. Nice chance, or uh, nice, nice try there by the Spartans. Long pass by Torbert. She gets Benson at midcourt. And she takes it over the timeline there, and now she's looking for some help back to Torbert. Down to Harper. Harper on Benoit. Double team, loses it, and picked up by the Spartans. More defense from St. Mark's. That's their, that they hang their hat on the defense. Absolutely. Into the corner, Buffon. This time she kicks it back out to DePaul. Down the middle goes Benoit. That one just off the back of the rim, and Dover's got it. Oh, good little timeout there for Dover. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. Jay, why don't you tell the good people where we're going to be tomorrow while we have a few seconds? Where are we going to be? Where are we going to be? Well, we're going to have a crew down to Seaford. Okay. For the boys' game, it's going to be Dover and I was, Seaford. I wasn't really paying attention. Oh, well, I'll sleeping. tell you where we'll be. Yeah, I was sleeping early. Glenn Frazier, Nick Halliday, and Pat Garianis will be making a long drive to Seaford. Okay for the Dover boys team, which defeated Archmere last night uh, against 
Seifert, that game is sold out. We will be at Salesiana School for Polytech against Sally's. Okay. Game time, 7 p.m. I know it's going to be me, you, Nick Alessandrini, and I don't know if the coach, Bill Harmon, is coming or not, but that's, that's where we will be. Okay. Of course, I'll be working tonight. Then I'm gonna golf tomorrow. So I'll probably be on no sleep. So I'll be relying on you and Allison Drini. You to can get do the through. camera if you want, if you just feel like doing that. And I'll, I'll hang out with Nick and we can, uh, that way you don't even need to pay attention. You just gotta run the camera back and forth. I can't, I can't do the camera, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'll be running the computer. I think Bill's gonna be there. I believe the coach will be there. Bill Harmon does a great job. We're really so lucky to have Bill. Hey, we're helping us out. All right, Harper down into the corner. She gets it back from Benson. Shot is up from 18 feet. No good rebound in there. And just couldn't get it to go. That was uh, Kindy Adama Lucan. I want to listen to uh, Rat say that name before I try it again. It goes out of bounds off St. Mars. It's going to go back to the Senators. Benson double teamed. Gets it out to Malia Milstead. She works her way between two defenders, but she is called for the traveling violation. The double dribble. So St. Mars up 27 13. Just five points apiece for the teams in this. Wait, wasn't it? It was 23 to 8, so it should be 5 4 in this quarter. Yeah, prefer to hit the 3 and 1 free throw. Yeah, because I can't count. That shot rolls in and out, but the rebound up and good, I believe. Kira Benoit. She's playing down with. The bigs, and she gets herself a bucket. The bank was almost open for that Lennon shot. Katie Lennon trying to get on the scoreboard there. 29-13 now St. Mark's. Some good, good minutes off the bench with some fouls piling up on the starters. And I think we're going to get a foul there on Prado. That would be number six on St. Mark's. Bella pleading her case. Jay, she's not going to win that no, argument. No. Like you said, six, 16 fouls, so Dover will be shooting the rest of the way. Torbert to inbound, gets it to Benson, but there's a lot of traffic in there and a foul call on St. Marks, and Coach Field not happy with this call. Foul's gonna be on Leah DePaul, and that puts them in the penalty. A lot of traffic in there. I, I couldn't really see what was going on. Yeah. We had three, three, three good referees here, Mike, and he saw a foul. I saw, he saw a foul. I think we have a buzzer. I'm not sure what's. I think he was uh, single to the ref. That was one on one. One yeah. Um, but I think Brill wanted the illegal screen before the foul. Benson in and out. Prado with the rebound, and here come the Spartans. It's Benoit. Boy, she's played a lot tonight. She's played really well. The phone doesn't get that three. Prado, the rebound. She's fouled, and she'll go to the line. Fourteen fouls now on the center. Yeah, one minute to go here. Jay, we hear Coach Davenport saying we're just not going after the ball. I think the difference in that free throw is good. The difference to me for St. Mars has just been the defense tonight. Well, Buffon, I think Buffon and the, hot. And shooting at Sophia Buffon. Uh, but Buffon got hot when, you know. That buzzer beater, I think, was a real springboard for them. I agree, Mike. It was 8-6. to six. She hits that three at the buzzer in 11-6. And like you said, 12-2 in that second quarter. Just made the difference. In Bella Prado goes two for two. She's got seven tonight, so good for say, her. She's been good off the bench, too. Provide that second scoring punch. That pass out of bounds almost hits Kevin Treslini. We don't want that. Hey, 
wonder if Trez will be heading down to cover Zeller in the PA A tournament. DePaul looking for somewhere to go. This is Benoit, she sees a lane, but kicks into the corner. And Lennon's just gonna bring it back out. They got 36 seconds to go in this quarter. Davenport wants his players out there. Pick, poked away by Malaya Milstead and out of bounds. So 28.60 to St. Mark's with possession. Lennon into DePaul. And Benoit's got it. She's just gonna dribble against Harper here. They pulled the de defender off so the five second call stops. St. Mark's like they're gonna be able to burn the rest of the clock. If it's not stolen, nearly stolen there by Milan Milstead. Now St. Mark's is gonna hustle it up. Nine, eight, seven. To Paul. Lennon puts up an off balance shot. He rolls out of bounds as the clock sounds and that is gonna do it here for the third quarter. St. Mark's builds the lead, it's 31-13. We're back with the fourth quarter. You're listening to High School Basketball on Delaware Live, powered by 302 Sports. High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Expectation and five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon, and limestone barbecue. And let's not forget, expectation. And five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. High Five. All right, back at St. Mark's, Mike Lang, Jason Winchell. Pops has departed. And uh, Craig Laskowski over there. Craig's hanging out. Everything's good. Thank Craig for uh, making some time in his busy schedule. I'm sure Dana would much rather have him home for dinner. Yeah. Right, Dana's probably missing you, Craig, right? She's probably saying, Craig, hurry home. No, Craig says, no, Dana's not saying that. And I know my wife's probably not saying that. She's like, I'll see you in the middle of March. She knows these busy, this is a busy, busy two weeks. Yeah, as we I mean, get going here in uh, tournament time. After tonight, I took off, Mike, for the rest of the basketball tournament because yeah, you're right, you know, you got to focus on that. Sunday's a, a day off, right? Sunday's a day I, off. I, I'm going to be working jobs. Sunday, my other job, but that's right. I'll, I'll rest. Inside pass by, oh, what a grab by Karch to keep that uh, inbounds. I thought Sophia was going to put it up. She just takes it back out, and Coach feels like just burn some clock. McDonald finds some room. Runner, she double dribbled. I'm sure on Sunday. I'll be working on the boys. Is, is the clock move ahead this Sunday? No, next week. Next week. After uh, the championship. Okay, Saturday cool. After the championship. So a turnover there for St. Mars. Nearly stolen on the way in by Karch. They do get it. Benoit. I'm going to give that steal to Karch. But Kira, Kira Benoit's been a pest all night. She's been everywhere. Maybe we'll get Kira over here after the game, along with uh, our high five hospitality player of the game. We're nearly one minute into the fourth quarter. That's going to be a foul on Torber to reach. 15 foul on Dover. More point, that's our fourth. And that is the correct four on Torber. And who's popping off the bench? Chelsea Woolleyhand. She's not going to be at the table in time to get in. You know, Torbert's their point guard, so they don't want to lose her even. Go yeah, down these points. Her dad, er Eric. Uh, another foul on Dover. Is that Torbert? If it is, she's done. Let's see. It is. It is. That's five on Torbert. So her evening is over. She's a junior. Finishes with two points tonight. Tough way to end the season for uh, Ashton Torbert, assuming Dover, if they don't come back tonight. She gave it all her all. She was a, she did a great job bringing that ball up in the face of some St. Mark's pressure. 
Parker. I'll be talking to her dad for the he's McDonald for three. He's head of the boys lacrosse committee. So Lauren McDonald drains a three-pointer, and that is Woolyhan bringing it up. Gets it to Milstead, back to Woolyhan. So Chelsea Woolyhan's going to be bringing that ball up. That's off of St. Mark's and out of bounds. So for McDonald, her fifth point of the game with that three-pointer. Uh, she had two points in the first, the first half. And it was Three one, points one of those nights where her shot wasn't falling. And when they, unfortunately for St. Mark's, they did not but, need it. But she was, did other things to get her teammates involved. We have a timeout over instead of they were worried about that five second violation. 6.30 to go. This is going to be a, looks like a, they all, I think they only have a full, full timeout. Yeah, they only have full left. We'll take one with them. Right, how about that? Sounds like a really good idea. First State Orthopedic Statewide has 29 physicians at 16 locations. Our physicians and staff provide both non-surgical as well as surgical treatment for almost all orthopedic conditions and injuries. We are specially trained in the current state-of-the-art techniques. We serve as team physician and orthopedic consultant for over 20 high schools, Wilmington University, and many local recreational and competitive leagues. Our doctors are readily available to the local emergency departments, as well as medical aid units and urgent care centers for consultation and treatment. Call for an appointment today or visit us at firststateortho.com. First State Orthopedic State. All righty, back up, uh, back out here at St. Mark's Dover basketball. Let's see if we can get any more updates. Three minutes. Polytech and Howard tied to 32 after three. Ball taken underneath. Benson puts it up. Doesn't get it. McDonald with the rebound. So Polytech and Howard tied to 23. I thought that would be a really good game, Mike. That shot misses. Rebound by Woolyhan. And we have a double dribble. <laughs> End of the third quarter, DMA 22, Charter 10. So they're the only two updates that we have right now to give you. McDonald and Prado, we see Karch, she's played a lot tonight. Nice dish, and she's gonna score. What a dish from Bella Prado. Sophia Karch, her first points of the game. That was a great pass by Bella. She's up higher. She yep. got to see everybody. And yep. Great cut by Karch. Found the open spaces. This is Lily Harper as we're down to 524 to go. 35, or 36 to 13 rather. Harper takes it in for a scoop. She's fouled. I don't know if it was McDonald that got her or not. We'll see. <clears throat> it is Kira Benoit with the foul. So Buffon, 15 points tonight. Prado with seven. McDonald with five. For Dover, uh, Sarah Benson with eight of their 13. That first one is up and off the rim for Harper. You know, the free throws would not have been enough for Dover to get them back no, in, but they've but missed several. It, it put that, and that, like you said, I think the game changed on that three at the end of the first quarter. That one off the glass. Six of their, I'm sorry, seven of their 13 points coming from the free throw line. St. Mark's has committed a bunch of fouls. McDonald, corner three, rattles off the rim. Prado with the rebound, won't go. Rebound Dover. Can they get out? That's the problem. They've had trouble getting that ball out of the backcourt. And they get it to Harper. St. Mark's backing off here a little bit with five minutes to go. Still playing uh, pretty aggressively under the basket, though. Spartan's been in that man-to-man -man all night. And whoever's had Benson, they've all done a good job. Shot is short, taken by Prado, whether it's been Prado, Frenopel, or Ray Johnson. 
down into the corner to McDonald. She goes baseline. Lauren McDonald underneath for Kira Benoit. There's a trip, no travel, no trip, and uh, just a held ball, it looks like. The winner of this one gets the unenviable task of playing Cape Henlopen. But in hey, you know, town. it's a Sussex, Sussex Tech South. record. Yep. You'd rather be down there playing than not playing. Exactly. In, the, in for St. Mars is number 11, Danielle I mean, Di Domenico. It, it is Friday night, so if you have, uh, if they have a uh, house down there. have a house down there. I imagine there'll be some Spartans staying the night in Sussex County. Benny Mitchell had plenty of fun at our expense last night on the 302 texting about spending time in Sussex County. I said, Benny, we all love Sussex County. We love it. And a near steal by St. Mark's. I think they called a foul here. If so, that might send St. Mark's to the line. There's just a, nope, no foul. I think this, is, maybe someone hit the out. Can't see the sideline from here. I think maybe a foot hit the sideline. Inbound pass under Benson, and it's tied up. And St. Mark's basketball. So obviously the one before must have been a tie out. St. Mark's just had it. Maybe that was the call. Yep. We couldn't see. We have coaches in front of us, so it was a little tough. Dover with the press. Woolyhand, Harper, Milstead, Milstead, and Benson out there. Gets it into D. Domenico. She's going to be looking for some help and gets it back to Haley. Short, who called out her name. And Danielle Herter. Karch up top to Benoit. I think Kira Benoit's played a great game. You know, she's just one point. Her defense has been on point. Outstanding, yep, absolutely. Especially with Short and foul trouble. She came in. Karch in the corner. Sophia Karch has had a lot of minutes tonight. Benoit thought about it, a long three, gives it up. McDonald has it. She's got room, takes it in, has it stripped by Woolley Hand on the way up. And the Senators have it taken right back by McDonald. Feeds Karch, and that's going to be a nope. traveling violation. Yep. Checking in for St. Mark's. Maybe. A delay game warning on St. Mark's, but Katie Lennon and Sophia Buffon back in. That was a delay a game warning on White. Just leave the ball alone. Benson gets it in, and Harper is going to bring it up. Benoit on Harper. Into the corner, out of bounds. Stays with the Senators. So Jay, you mentioned it earlier, four nothing lead for Dover. It took St. Mark's a while to get on the board, but once they did, they really took control of this game. They really did, and like I said, it was eight to six. When the phone hit that shot, her second three point in the first quarter, but the big one, that NBA range three at the buzzer, and it just seemed to give St. Mark's all the momentum. And then this, they uh, outscored 12 to two, three front end miss, one to ones. And Dover just never got the offense going, just five points here in the second half. It's yeah, been a tough scored, night for the Senators. Scored early in that third quarter when they got yeah. two quick, uh, two quick free throws and a quick basket. And Spartans defense has been outstanding. I think that's been the main re main thing tonight. Benson gets a shot up. She's going to shoot two here. I believe Katie Lennon is going to be the aggressor. It is on Lennon. Two shots here for Sarah Benson. Ninth team foul. First one is up off the front of the rim. Good season for Dover. They finished nine and eleven. Jay, you mentioned they had yeah. a, a pretty tough schedule with that Henlo from North. They have nothing to be ashamed of here tonight. They came out and they gave it their all. The St. Mark's brought the D tonight. They really did. That's the trademark of the St. Mark's team. Second one also bounces off, rebound up, and no good. And Benoit's got it, and she's going to get it across. Center court, timeout, St. Mark's. 
is a 60-second timeout. Now on Friday, our plan is to be back with more girls action, and we should be coming to you from so Archmere Academy. Claymont. We're going to head to Claymont. The sixth-seeded Archmere Hawks. Get the winner of the Woodbridge Seaford game. Have not seen yeah, so, uh, update one from that game. We right. have no idea. I would Woodbridge, obviously the favorite going into that one. Woodbridge should Seaford play twice during the We're scheduled to play twice during the season. I believe one was a forfeit win for Woodbridge. Let's see if we get any more updates for you. And I can say with great confidence, no. Nothing from Brad Myers tonight, huh? He is at Charter and DMA. Okay. I take that back. I just saw that. Now, I had a chance to stop by the Chase Fieldhouse today and watch one quarter of St. Bonaventure against Davidson. Jay, they played 10-minute quarters. In the first quarter, Davidson scored 27 points. There was not much defense going on from the Bonnies, although they played a little better after that. But they And their best player, St. Bonaventure, on crutches. So that was not a good sign uh, for my Bonnies. But new uh, have an interim coach there, and uh, they're just putting things back together. Now Davidson, who they played, gets to St. Joe's tomorrow. If you have a chance, you want to see college basketball, the women's Atlantic Town Women's Tournament at the Chase Fieldhouse. Go ahead down there and check it out. UMass plays Friday, Jay, with uh, Bernay Mayo and Steph Kalesia. They are the top seed. They got the double bye. They don't play till Friday yep. at 11 a.m. Timeout, St. Mark's, 2.39 to go. <laughs> and then we had an early update from Joe Papilli at St. Elizabeth's where they got started a little late. Because you know sometimes buses break down. That they have that happens to buses. <laughs> Going into overtime, St. George's and Red Lion tied at 51. I knew that was the game we should have covered. I thought that was going to be the game. 16 versus 17. All right, here we go, back at St. Mark's, two and a half to go here into the corner to Lennon. She drives in, looks for the mid-range, gets it back to Benoit, kicks it out to Buffon. And St. Mark's play a little keep away here, Lennon to Benoit. She's just turning around looking for a teammate. Dee Domenico's got it. Coach, I think Coach Friel has used everybody on his roster tonight. He, goes, he usually goes pretty yeah. deep anyway. Inside to Lennon, gets it out to Sophia Buffon. Smart decision there by the freshman. Pull it out, run some clock. And a steal there and a foul on DePaul. And, and that's going to be 10 team fouls. You get two free throws here for, I believe, for Sarah Benson again. It is on DePaul. And it will be, oh, hang on. Shooter's going to be number 15. He's not even trying to announce it. Shot is up, no good by Adama Leakin, I believe how she pronounces it. My apologies if I'm totally butchering that name. Second one is up, and that one off the side a little bit. Rebounded by Danielle Di Domenico. 150 to go. Benoit. Bumped by Woolly Hand, and that's going to be a one and one for St. Mark's. So Kira Benoit, first one is up. Looks like, like you said, Mike, it looks like St. Mark's will advance and head to Sussex Tech to face Kate on Friday night. One for two. Yep. It's going to be a tough matchup. One thing St. Mark's had, they have a little bit of height. You know, with Cape, you need some height, but we'll see how it goes for them. Congratulations to Spartans, by the way, on picking up this win tonight. 
They've been trending in the right direction. Coach Field telling them no fouls. He doesn't want any fouls here with a minute and a half to go. Because they'll be shooting two. Into the corner, it's Woollyhan. Her three ball in and out. Rebound by Malaya Milstead. Woollyhan takes it. Up at the left hand, no good. And rebounded by the Spartans. Out of bounds it goes. It's going to stay with St. Mark's. St. Mark's had a uh, win last year in the tournament day to beat DMA. Yes. And then uh, lost to Wilmington Charter after that. So a little diamond state that, action. I was at that Wilmington Charter game. We did it, me and Nick Holiday. Benoit showing off the dribbling into the corner to Lennon. Her classmate down there told her to shoot it. Di Domenico does. She gets her own rebound, dribbles it off her ankle out of bounds. So Danielle gives it a shot, big smile on her face as she comes down. Had the rebound, Jay, and bounced it right off her ankle. We're going to have our high five hospitality player of the game, and I'm pretty confident that it's going to be Sophia Buffon, number 10, the freshman. So we'll get Sophia over here. That would be my choice. And since it's me and you choosing, it's unanimous. <laughs> I already told Craig, none of me on the camera. Shot up by Dover, taken by Lennon. They're going to dribble it out here. Gets it over to Katie Lennon, takes it up. Eight, seven. St. Mark's is moving on after a 37 13 win over Dover here at Tom Rosa Court. We're going to take a quick break. We're back. We hope to have Sophia Buffon in a minute. You're watching high school basketball on Delaware Live Power by 302 Sports. Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Expectation and five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo Wild Wings franchise to Delaware. To date, they operate eight Buffalo Wild Wings in Delaware, Maryland. Also the Stone Balloon and Limestone Barbecue. And let's not forget, Expectation and five Jersey Mikes throughout Delaware. High Five Hospitality's mission is to operate five brands that serve high quality products with exceptional hospitality. High Five Hospitality, founded in 2004 when three guys teamed up to introduce the Buffalo. All right, we're back at St. Mark's High School with our High Five Hospitality player of the game, Sophia Buffone. Sophia, a little bit of a, a slow start for you guys on the offense, but you got it going. Uh, you know, how much did you know about Dover coming in, and, and, and how, did, how did you approach this game? We didn't know much about Dover, but we knew that we could play together and we could win if we play our game and we play together. You had a big shot there at the end of the first. Uh, I thought it was a real springboard for your team. Talk about that long three-pointer buzzer beater that may end up in 302's top plays. You never know. I didn't. I just looked up at the clock, and I saw the time ticking down, and I went to shoot, and I pump faked, and then I shot it and went in. I I just let it fly. I didn't know what else to do. So. Oh, it was pretty good. You take lessons from your dad. Is that part of it? <laughs> Yeah. yeah, my dad helps a lot. I'm sure he does. Brandon Buffon was And that. my brother, too. And yeah. the brother. That's a, that's a heck of a basketball-playing yeah. family there, Jay, the Buffons. Uh, you, you guys had um, great defense, only gave up 13 points. I know how many times I've seen you guys this year. Uh, just talk about how much defense means to this team. Yeah, we really worked on defense the past four days, and really just because we knew Dover probably hadn't played a team with our defense, and we knew we had to come out and play our defense, which got us the win. I want to ask about one of your teammates, one of the uh, seniors, Bella Prado. Bella's battled some ankle injuries this year. She came and played really good tonight. Just talk about the contributions from Bella. Um, yeah, she's been out a lot of games, but 
she came back and she was getting rebounds and she really helped us out there. That and one was great. Really, I love having her back. And I think her sister's team is winning too tonight, Tommy. Yeah. So uh, now you guys have a trip on Friday to not to Cape. Yeah, to I don't Sussex, know where we. Oh, we play Sussex Tech. Oh, okay. All right. You're gonna be at Sussex Tech. Uh, what do you know about Cape Hemlopen and uh, you know what's what's the next two days like for you guys? We don't know much about them, but we're probably gonna do a lot of film and get ready for them. And they're probably going to be a lot like Dover and Polytech. So. They're very tall. Yeah, they're, they're big, yeah. They've won 19 straight, but you guys are ready for them, Yeah, aren't we're you? ready for them. Sophia's ready. You always talk about the freshmen. Yeah. They're always confident. Yes. Uh, Sophia, you got some good support here from your students tonight. Yeah. Uh, and it's a long trip down to Sussex Tech. Um, but I'm sure you guys are going to have a good time. Congratulations on the win. I think I had you with 15 points, including one, two, three, four three-pointers. Including when I may end up on top place, you never know. Yep. You just never know. All right, Sophia, congratulations on Thank the win. Thank you. Uh, good luck at Sussex Tech against Cape on Friday. We'll be following from up here. Thank you. Awesome. So for Jason Winchell, Craig Laskowski, and our high five player of the game, high five hospitality player of the game, Sophia Buffon, I'm Mike Lang. Once again, your final score, St. Mars 37, Dover 47.